Hello, it's another episode of the Low Budget Review Show, and I'm Eric Smith, and I wrote this title card. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to talk about another book. Um, boy, I'm going to have to start doing things other than books, because I said in the very first video that I would do all sorts of different stuff, but I'm a reader. What can I say? And I want more people to read. Uh... This time, I have got something a little different. Uh, first of all, the book is 65 Stirrup Iron Road. There it is. And I'm going to have to read this because it is written by Brian Keene, J.F. Gonzalez, Nate Southard, Jack Ketchum, Brian Smith, Ryan Harding, Edward Lee, Rath James White, and Shane McKenzie. Uh, that's nine authors in this little book right here. Uh, it's from Deadite Press, and all proceeds uh, go to benefiting modern master of crime and terror, Tom Piccarilli. If that's how you say his name, I've never been sure about that. Uh, but he had some health issues, or has some health issues. So this is benefiting uh, Tom. So what we have here with 65 Stirrup Iron Road by these nine great authors is a crazy gore and sex-soaked haunted house story. Um, wow, it's, uh, it's, it is something. Um, I'm familiar with most of these authors. Uh, some of my favorites are on here. I love Brian Keene, uh, Edward Lee. Wrath James White. Um, the two that I was least familiar with, um, and unless they have short stories and some anthologies I read, and I'm just not aware that they had something there, uh, the two that I don't think I've read anything by before are Ryan Harding and Shane McKenzie. I will be rectifying that based on what I've read here. Um, but, yeah, they're all good. And... Uh, it's an interesting setup here, the way they do it. Uh, I'll just go through this real quick. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but basically, you've got the prologue written by Edward Lee. I've got to leaf through to see what's next. Then, chapter one is Edward Lee and J.F. Gonzalez. Then, chapter two, J.F. Gonzalez. Then, chapter three, J.F. Gonzalez and Brian Keene. You get the gist. Uh, that's how this book was put together. It is, it's crazy. Uh, if you're familiar with, I would say Edward Lee, Rath James White, um, are the two that, whose style seems to fit this book best in general. I'm not sure, uh, if I'm conveying this correctly. Let me put it this way. If I didn't know who wrote this, if I just read the story, thought it was by one author, I would have guessed Edward Lee or Wrath James White. Again, not familiar with Ryan Harding or Shane, excuse me, Shane McKenzie. Uh, so maybe it's a lot like their kind of stuff too. Um, uh, Brian Keene, uh, Nate Souther, Jeff Gonzalez, some of the other authors on here, Jack Ketchum, Brian Smith, a great one. Uh, uh, they do write fantastic horror. I love their work. Uh, but it generally, from what I've read, doesn't fall into that super uh, sick, disgusting, over-the-top kind of stuff. Um, it's not a complaint. I'm just saying they're generally different. Uh, if you read, uh, I don't know, Dark Hollow by Brian Keene and The Resurrectionist by Rath James White, you'd see... That there's a huge difference. Both fantastic authors. I love both of them. I'll read anything they write. Um, but there's a difference in their style. It's Rath's style, Edward Lee's style, that's more of what you're going to get with 65 Stirrup Iron Road, in my opinion. Um, so you've got this couple that moves into this house um, that I believe is at 65 Stirrup Iron Road. Hey. Uh, and of course, it's a haunted house story, so things get really weird and crazy, and it's um, 
hardcore horror, so it gets incredibly gruesome, incredibly disgusting, incredibly bloody, and well, sexy isn't the right word, but yeah, there's some hardcore, crazy, bloody sex in here too. Um, so it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, it is not a feel-good romp. And I want to talk about the ending, but I can't talk about the ending because I don't want to spoil it. Um, I guess meta. Well, I know that meta is the word to use here. Um, well, I don't want to say too much. Uh, if you know what meta is, self-referential kind of thing. And uh, this definitely gets very meta, which I love. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was uh, um, funny. And, uh, but I don't want to give anything away. So I can't say exactly what goes on uh, at the end. Um, I love the ending. I've looked at some reviews online. Uh, some people hate the ending. Uh, so that's going to be up to you to decide. Uh, this is so, again... There's the book, me showing the cover, as I always do, that I press. Another small press that I just cannot find at bookstores, and it bugs me. I don't know what we got to do to change the system. There are some great publishers putting out some great, great fiction, and uh, they're just not carried by uh, the big bookstores. Maybe you've got a small bookstore in your town that, that carries this kind of stuff. Um, all we've got around here, aside from used bookstores, is Barnes and Nobles, and uh, they don't they don't carry it. So I ordered this online, got it from Amazon, um, and I believe uh, there is a limited edition coming out. Uh, I think it's already sold out, so I don't know what the point in mentioning it is, except it may show up on eBay. Uh, I wanted to read it. I didn't want to wait. So I grabbed this copy. Um, so there you have it. If you're looking for some uh, crazy, hardcore horror by uh, some of the best authors in the horror genre today. Um, definitely the best hardcore horror authors in the, in the genre. Um, and just some all-around great authors. I love all these guys. Uh... Pick up 65 Stirrup Iron Road and uh, tuck yourself in and be prepared to be grossed out and freaked out. And you'll have a laugh too, I think. So there it is. As always, uh, leave any comments, questions, or corrections uh, in the comments section down there. And this has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith, and I want you to read more books.